Hi, my name is Shawnee Dorans and I went to college at Ayrshire College, uh, the Kilmarnock campus, and I did the social sciences and introduction to social sciences and education um, swap course there. And I'm now going on to do education at the University of West of Scotland in Ayr. My name's Stephanie Logan. I went to Glasgow Kelvin College at Easter House. Um, I done the swap access to humanities course. Um, and I'm now going on to UWS to do primary teaching at Air as well. Prep for HE was actually really useful with some things um, that I hadn't even thought about or given you different ways of doing things. Um, I think it was trying to carve out time in your own schedule to do it, um, which was the problem for some people because you maybe weren't prioritising it um, compared to your actual college assignments. Um, if you were having work or kids and whatever going on, you thought I have to get this in for a deadline to get my grades rather than thinking I've got prep for HD to do on the side, but it doesn't actually have a deadline date until the very end of college. At the start of the year, we had, but well, we have our prep for HD slot. And if we didn't have a class that day, I just thought I'll keep using that time for paper HE and um, I'll keep popping that in and plodding away at it so that it's done. So I think, yeah, it's really important at the start of the year to realise that if you don't get this done throughout your college time, you're going to have a lot to do um, by the end of it because some of the modules are lengthy and there was people in my class saying, these are taking me an hour. And I was like, yeah, they are. Like quite long and um, detailed so definitely get a head start on yourself because you're only doing yourself favours if you start doing them as soon as you can. I think they were really useful as well like that giving you so like watching past students or even just all the wee tips and yeah. like ways to like study because I was always mm -hmm. working, I would try and just write absolute everything down that every lecturer told me I would write every word and then I'd get to the end and I wouldn't really be taking it in because I'm that busy trying to keep writing and I'm thinking this isn't working. Yeah. And some of the wee tips in the prep for HE has really helped, like just write keywords and go back on this. So I thought it was really useful. And yeah, I think making time for it, definitely. Rather than you start panicking, thinking, oh, I've got so many of these still to do. I tried to yeah. like just use the time at the beginning, we had the time, and then I tried to just spread it out, maybe think, right, write it in. Like I had a wee diary, so I'd write in what date I'd done one and then look maybe like a week later and put one in on my diary. So I think, right, I've got to do that that day. So I know yeah. I'm doing them kind of spaced out rather than all at the one go? Well, I had about an hour and a half each week to do them. Um, and I could maybe fit in one or two in that time, which was quite handy. It just depends what one you're doing because some are definitely shorter than others. Um, but it's just a great feeling knowing that you don't have 17 to two in a row. And you maybe, like, if you have an hour and a half one week, but you can't do it the next week and then catch up the next again, it's not as bad as leaving it for weeks and weeks and weeks mm -hmm. um, and then putting it all together as well because I copied and pasted all mine into one document for to make it easy to send and if I had to do that all at one time I'd, oh, I don't even know what I'd have done. <laughs> yeah no I think I did a bit an hour I think I did a bit an hour but like you say if there's some were longer then it would just be kind of I would tell myself right I'll look and see when I've got an afternoon and then just see how like that, whatever one I was doing, some are a wee bit longer than I want to do, some are kind of quite yeah. Quick. Yeah.